A million dollars worth of federal funding is heading to Wendell for a new community center. CBS 17's Dina Harley spoke with leaders uh, at one church involved in this project who say it's really kind of bringing history back to life. An abandoned building with no life for decades, but soon this entire space around me will be turned into a green room, a community center, and so much more for Wendell. One building from the early 1900s, dozens of local church members, and $2 million. Thanks to all of that, soon the former Carver School in Wendell will be brand new. We have members who are now in their upper 90s, uh, early 100s, who actually taught at the school. Leaders with Pleasant Grove Baptist Church joined Congresswoman Deborah Ross and a handful of community members on Friday to officially kick off the renovation announcement. But it all actually started in 2007 when the church bought the old property. Since then, members have been waiting to breathe new life into the building. What they remember is a time when this building and this community was vibrant. They remember a time uh, when the lifeblood of the community flowed through Carver. The former school closed in the late 1990s, but soon it'll house a green room, a community center, classrooms, and resources for the entire community. Congresswoman Ross says she worked hard to get this federal funding for the community to honor the site that once served segregated black students. We don't talk enough about how to repair the wounds of segregation, and this is a way to do it. Now, with generations of people waiting for the doors to eventually reopen, church members say they're eager to make new memories in the historic spot. I've had members say, I just want to live to see it. One of the architects with the project says that there are still a few more steps to take before construction can actually begin, but we could be looking at a reopening here sometime in 2024. In Wendell, Dino Harley, CBS 17 News.